How is it going everybody? You're watching the Nabal Tech and Apple has just released iOS 17.5 Beta 1, which is the first beta, the first test version of iOS 17.5, which is the fifth major update to iOS 17. And even though this is just beta 1, this is pretty much how iOS 17.5 final version will look like in just a couple weeks. So without further ado, let's go ahead and let me tell you everything you need to know. So what's new, when this will be released to everyone. I'll also talk about the compatibility list. So which iPhone models will be compatible with iOS 17.5 and also how you can install it right now today because you may want to. Let's go. But before I begin, I'd like to invite you to take a look at my Instagram page, Daniel About Tech. So I create content every single day, guys, right here on Instagram, especially on my stories, as you can see, and I do create content. I always show up, I put my face on it. I talk about every single thing you can imagine. So of course, I talk about Apple, everything related here to the channel, but also, I show you my day-to-day -day life, my routine, I show you absolutely everything as you can imagine right here, and even though I speak in Portuguese on this Instagram page, but there are always subtitles, so every single post I make, there are subtitles, so you can go ahead and follow everything that I post on my Instagram. I super appreciate that I go ahead, take a look at Danibal Tech, and follow me, all right? Let's get back to the video. Okay, so let's start off with the changes and the first one is right here in the podcast widget. So as you can see, the default color is purple. So that's the color of the application itself, right? But as you actually tap on play and as you play any podcast, it'll actually match the color of that podcast. As you can see right here, this is red. The whole widget became red. Same thing right here with the second one it went to this very dark blue kind of gray tone, as you can see, matching the color of the podcast itself. After a while, after you stop listening to the podcast or you simply close the podcast app, it'll come back to purple. There you go. Now, if we come back to our settings and scroll down a bit until we get here to privacy and security, we have a minor change scrolling all the way down until we get here to pass keys access for web browsers as you can see there is an icon right here that didn't used to exist it was just blank it was just pure text now we have this icon if you tap on the feature it remains exactly the same it's just this little icon to make things easier to see it to find if we come back once again to our settings and scroll just a bit down until we get to battery and we've seen this section so many times here on the channel, right? As you can see, it's a little bit weird, right? It's saying like charging underscore title, charging underscore off, and that's simply a bug. If you tap on it, you'll see that it's saying optimize battery charging, which is correct, but here it's saying charging fixed limit, which should be 80% limit, and here charging off, which should be none. So this is just, as I said, a bug. This is a uh, problem with coding. And this is probably how you see those options when you are actually coding iOS, right? As a developer, but you shouldn't see this as a user. But of course, this is because this is beta one, this will be fixed. It's just a fun little bug. Please keep in mind that this page right here is only available for the iPhone 15 series, which has more options regarding charging. If you open up the Books app, you have a new icon right here for your reading goals. It used to be right here as a little progress bar, and now is this little circle, as you can see. As you can see, I've read two minutes out of 15, which is my reading daily goal, okay? So if you tap here, you see your goal. As you can see, I've read two minutes, 10 seconds of my 15 minute goal. Of course, this is just an example, right? So if you're not familiar with that, this is already 
on previous versions of iOS 17, like 17.4 and so on. The only difference is this little interface, which as I said, used to be right here and now it's right there. And sometimes it'll actually give you a little pop-up as well. Now I wanna talk about something that I was pretty curious about that had to do with Siri. So when you actually update to iOS 17.5 and go through all of those options like hello, and then your iPhone was successfully updated, right? I got a screen and I haven't seen this screen before or really anywhere else here on YouTube, which just showed how to use Siri. So it was just saying, uh, you can say Siri from now on and start talking. It won't work because I have Siri disabled on this iPhone or you can press the side button. And even though there is nothing new with it and you saw the, the little splash screen that, that I showed you right here, but the thing is, it's just weird that Apple is showing us again Siri, even though there's nothing new, there are no new features. And I'm thinking about what's happening with iOS 18 and all the rumors and everything we're seeing that in theory, Siri is getting much smarter and AI is a big theme of iOS 18. So maybe they are already really working hard on Siri and just reminding everyone that Siri actually exists because no one really uses Siri now, but who knows, maybe in a couple months, everyone will. And now the final change and the most important one, and I left it for last, have to do with the EU changes. Once again, the iPhone is really, really changing for EU, for EU users and citizens. And the main change of this software update is definitely for EU citizens. And this time, the big change is the fact that now EU citizens will be able to simply download apps from websites. And that's pretty huge. So imagine downloading an app just like you download a software, an app for your computer. That's exactly how it's gonna be. So here we have this example, Google Chrome. So I open up Google Chrome and if I tap here on get Chrome, of course, it's gonna redirect me to the app store because I'm not in the European Union. So for all those years, we've all had to do this, download from the app store, but Starting now, EU citizens will be able to go ahead, tap here and download an app straight from the web. And I know a lot of you guys are gonna say this is really bad for security and all, but please hear me out. There are a ton of requirements, okay? So in order for a developer to make an app available like that, not like this, right? This is just an example, but have an app available for you to download, uh, they'll have to go through some criteria and requirements. First, they will need to be an app developer for at least two years consecutive. So let's imagine 2023, 2022, and then they can start going through the process. On top of that, they do have to have at least one application in the App Store with over 1 million individual downloads in the previous year. Okay, so with this, Apple is making sure, and I'm getting all of this information straight from Apple, as you can see right here, they have a full document on this. So then they guarantee that it's a known developer that's been with Apple for at least two years and that has at least one big app on the App Store so they know it's a trustworthy developer. So if they meet this criteria, then they will be eligible to get the APIs and everything necessary to make something like this and make their app available right here on the web, okay? So uh, please keep in mind that the change in iOS 17.5 is because in iOS 17.4, they already made available in the European Union uh, alternative app stores. So the idea was that you would have to go ahead open up a website, download an alternative app store, and then on that alternative app store, download an app, right? So then there's a process. Now in 17.5, is the idea that you can simply download from the web without installing an alternative app store if you don't want to. So it's making things very, very easy 
for developers and for users as well. In my opinion, this is great for the iPhone. I would love to have this worldwide in the US, in Brazil, which is where I live, in all Asia, everywhere, you know, like all over the world, Africa, everywhere, because this is a game changer. This gives us a ton of freedom and we know that those apps will, as a matter of fact, be monitored by Apple and they will have to go through a ton of requirements, criteria and everything, as I said, to make sure those are good apps. And think of your Mac. If you use a Mac, you download from the web, right? So what's the difference? So that's the idea. So don't really worry too much about this and hope that we can get this worldwide. Now, when do we actually expect to get iOS 17.5? This one right here, but the final version for everyone, for all users. So you can expect to see the release of 17.5 in a few weeks, not a few days, a few weeks. So towards the end of this month, April, beginning of May. So it's not super far away, but it's not like in a few days, right? So expect at least three, four weeks or more, okay? Uh, and of course, which iPhones will be compatible with this version? the same ones that are compatible with iOS 17. So iPhone 10R, 10S, and newer, including the iPhones SE2 and SE3. If you're compatible with 17.0, you are compatible with all versions of iOS 17. And last but not least, if you want to install it right now on your iPhone, especially if you are a EU user, because that's the most biggest change, uh, go ahead here, go to your settings, and you can come back here on general to your software update, typical uh, software update process, wait for it to check, and then you will see a beta updates option right here, tap on it, and if you are on off, just go ahead and toggle to iOS 17 developer beta, as you can see right there, toggle here, and as you come back, you will see 17.5 for you. If you don't see this option, if you just don't see beta updates on your iPhone, I do recommend that you take a look at this video right here, link in the description, and I'll show you how to enroll to the developer beta program, right? So that's literally it. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you on the next one as usual, guys. Bye-bye.